So I'm gonna go ahead and start this video with an apology for all the loud construction noise outside. I am so sorry you guys are doing so much construction and it is interfering with my sound and my video quality, but it is what it is. So today I started my day uh, kind of normal how I would do any other day. And I woke up and I had my cup of coffee. I took my apple cider vinegar um, gummies and all my supplements and all that good stuff. And I was sitting on the couch thinking, what am I gonna do for today's video? Um, thinking of different makeup looks that I could do, thinking of uh, different content. I wanted to do a try on haul for y'all and uh, just continued about my day um, in my normal schedule. I'm sorry, I was look, I could see my back in that mirror and it just weirded me out. So I'm just like, I don't wanna keep seeing my back. <laughs> but anyway, I was going about my day and in my normal routine, I um, go and weigh myself in. And I realized that today I have officially lost um, that I have officially lost eight pounds. Yay. <laughs> um, I've officially lost eight pounds and I was super excited and I posted on my social media cause I've been working really hard this week, especially, and I'll tell y'all why here in a little bit, but it got me thinking that I should probably talk about my fitness journey. And if you're new to my YouTube, then, um, you know, I don't talk about it too much. I did do a juice cleanse challenge, um, but mainly on my Instagram, I, I really talk about how my weight's been, what I've been struggling with, and I thought I'd, you know, come out because I only, you know, post so much and come out and kind of talk to y'all about it. So let's start from the beginning. Um, growing up, I had never struggled with weight. Um, in high school, I never struggled through, with weight, and, um, you know, me being 23, I it wasn't until recently, and I didn't notice it until I had gotten my breast augmentation, which was, it will be a year as of June 6th, it will be one year. So I got my breast augmentation, I'm sorry, two years, June 6th, two years. So I got my breast augmentation two years ago, um, and that is for another story. But um, during that time, I was such a petite frame on my ch upper chest area that when I gained any kind of weight, it was very, very noticeable beforehand. So five pounds on me was a lot of weight. I know that's not a lot of weight and some people fluctuate within the five, you know, pounds weights like one day you might weigh up 140 145 that's normal um it wasn't for me so um five pounds beforehand because i was like an a cup uh it was very noticeable on my petite frame i'm five foot <laughs> like maybe five one like i'm very small very petite um i do have more of a muscular build to me i would say but for the most part any kind of like fat that occurs in my body is very very noticeable um, but then I got my breast done and that changed my body proportion so, 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 so much. Um, I felt more curvier and I really enjoyed that. I noticed that I didn't have to worry about my weight anymore because when I gained five pounds, you could not tell because I have, you know, a chest, a big chest area. So everything really evened itself out. Um, and so I didn't pay attention to my weight. Whenever I woke up from surgery, obviously like you weigh more because of your implants. Um, and you know, recovering from surgery, I just ate what I wanted, didn't diet, you couldn't exercise. I still get a lot of pain from doing chest workouts. So I don't even do that. But um, as time went on, I started to gain a lot of weight. Um, my average weight, I would say is probably 120 to 125 before my augmentation. Um, and now it is 145, so it is a 20 pound jump. So just to show y'all what I look like before my surgery, I'll post a photo right now. Um, and this is kind of what I look like beforehand. Um, and then what I look like after surgery. So because I wasn't paying attention um, to my weight and kind of focusing on my business, I 
had switched careers. I was, you know, in one salon, out of a salon, and then now running my own salon and trying to maintain my own business and all this other stuff. And it takes so much work and dedication that I stopped worrying about what I looked like. Not saying that I looked bad, but you know, it's obviously a big difference. And um, then I noticed that I was binge eating, you guys. I was binge eating so, so, so much. I'm talking like probably two to three Dr. Peppers a day. I love Dr. Peppers, at least one king size Snicker bar a day. Um, that's how I started my morning. And then whenever I would overeat, I would go like a day or two not eating. So I would binge and then I wouldn't eat and then I would binge and then I wouldn't eat, which, you know, it just throws off your, you know, whole equilibrium. You know, my body's like, are you going to feed me today? Like junk food? Or are you going to starve me? Like, what, what are we doing? Um, so, you know, it was pretty hard um, going back and forth and I felt really unhealthy. So then um, about a year ago, I started a really big health kick. I started a new job. I wanted new beginnings. It was like the start of 2019. Um, and so I worked really hard and I lost, you know, quite a bit of weight to where I felt comfortable. And then um, I went through something in life that was really personal. Um, you know, I would love to share it with y'all, but I'm just not ready to share that yet. Um, and I let myself go probably even worse. Um, so now I was almost getting into the 150s um, at five foot. And when I say I'm, a, I'm usually a petite frame, I really am. Um, and you know, summer was along in 2019 and I realized I didn't like how I looked in a bikini. Um, and I really wanted to change that. I was not happy. Um, and so I was like, okay, well now I work for myself. I'm my own businesswoman. This was in July. I'm like, you know, I can start working on myself. And so I did work and I was averaging about 145 on weight. Um, during that time, okay, so now we're in July. Um, during between July and January, I really started admiring um, bikini models and female bodybuilding. And I was really into that. I was watching like different shows. I was like looking up YouTube vlogs on, you know, bikini and NPC and WBFF and all that great stuff. And I realized that that's something I would really enjoy doing, um, you know, for myself. Kind of maybe I was like, maybe if I can push myself like really push myself to do something maybe that's the motivation that I need so on and off eating healthy not eating when I like there is there'd be like a two-week period where I'm eating healthy I'm going to the gym every day and then I stop then I'm eating junk and then I starve myself and then I'm eating healthy it was the most unhealthy cycle and it's just how my brain works you guys like I know that it's wrong but it's just and even like today I'm going to get to that later, but it's just how my brain works. Um, and it's not good. You're never going to get permanent results. I'm talking like those crash diets. It's not going to work. Um, and so fast forward to July 28th. Um, I walk into a nutrition store and I meet this girl and she, I'm like, I'm so interested in bodybuilding. I would love to do it. Like I follow so many you know female competitors and bikini competitors i'm like i would love to do it and in my mind i'm like god i have to lose fucking 20 i'm sorry in my mind i'm like oh my god i'm gonna have to lose 20 pounds like these girls are hitting like 118 115 i'm 145 i'm five foot these girls are hitting those weights at like five five i'm like i'm gonna have to lose so much weight i'm like i'm gonna look and I'm like, it might be unhealthy. I don't know. I wanted to make sure I found like a coach, you know, who would let me go through this process, but not destroy my body, you guys. Because some girls, they go, they go through that process and they just are starving themselves. Um, and so she talks to me and she's like, well, you should do WBFF competition instead of NPC because we want more of a natural framed woman. We still want your curves. You're just dieted down in a healthy way, like not a pencil. Like we still want to see, you know, butt. we still want to see legs. And I'm like, oh, that that's really awesome. And, you know, she was just saying all these positive things and told me what her coach's name was. And I was like, okay, okay. I'm like, I really like that. And literally you guys, that night I signed up. Um, I signed up for my team, Team Dynasty, um, and it's run by, you know, Stephanie and her team, and I'll link them down below in the description box. 
and you know she really worked with me and really understands my body and she meets with me and talks to me about my eating habits which we know my eating habits are awful um and you know she really taught me how to like check in and uh, be aware of what i'm putting in my body mainly because i have to uh write back to her like i have to check did i do this workout oh did you because we're checking on your Fitbit <laughs> like how many steps are you getting in how many calories are you burning are you doing your weights are you eating healthy like log in what you're eating and it is a lot of work um but gosh that first week I I saw such a difference like you guys let me put it up for y'all I saw such a difference in that first week and I'm like oh my gosh this is working like I feel great I have energy I'm not hungry because she actually had me eating more than what I was comfortable eating. I'm like, oh my God, this is so much food. Um, and then like after I stuck to it for a month and then after a month, I like would fall off and you not work out. And you guys, I'm running my own business. So it gets so hard. So I'd fall off, get back on, fall off, get back on. You know, I was allowed one cheat day a week and it turned into the whole weekend. And, you know, I talked to her and she was so understanding and I realized like, I'm like, I need to get in a healthy eating habit. And sometimes I would lie. I'm like, oh, you, you know, I'm eating. No, you're not eating good. Like you're eating nachos with sour cream and guacamole. Like you're not eating good. <laughs> you're drinking Dr. Pepper. So I just did little goals for myself. Um, no sodas, like trying to drink water. I think the hardest part because of my business is uh, staying consistent like on your days. Like you need to eat at this time, you need to eat at this time, you need to eat, you need to eat like six times a day. These are your meals, you have to weigh them out. And I am so thankful for Dallas and meal prep. I'll also leave them down below. Pre-made meals delivered to your home. Best thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, so that made it really easy. But then I kind of plateaued for two weeks. I didn't work out for a whole week, you guys, and it's okay. Um, and uh, then all this like coronavirus started happening um, as of like three to four weeks ago. I had to shut down my business, you guys. So I, I'm not working in from March 16th and I'm not gonna be able to go back to work till probably mid-May um because of the virus and i'm not an essential business and you know keeping myself healthy keeping everybody else healthy and it was a really hard decision to make but a blessing in disguise because now i get to focus on myself and actually put in time to myself so um because of this one of the competitions were canceled and um the people who are going to be doing their competitions um as of the 11th of this week oh my gosh april 11th um, they were like, we're going to do a virtual reality competition. And she's like, Sierra, you know, I want you to do that. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm not even prepped for, I'm not even prepped, <laughs> you know, for anything. Like my prep, I had been dieting since, or uh, not dieting. I would say I had been um, body recomp, recompositioning my body as of, January 28th so it's like not even eight weeks I'm like I'm not ready for no competition um, I'm not working hard I'm not I'm just doing my cardio doing my weights you know 30 minutes maybe on the Stairmaster just trying to eat consistently but nothing where like my food I'm never hungry like I'm not doing any cuts I'm not doing anything crazy um, and she's like no like we, we really want everybody no matter what your body looks like this is for like empowerment and um, that's when I realized I'm like, you know, I need to stop being so ashamed, you know, of what I look like. I don't know why, like anybody else, I'm like, you look great. But when it comes to myself, um, I, gosh, my confidence level is all the way to the floor. Like, I don't know why when it comes to makeup, I feel really confident when it comes to hair. I mean, obviously that's my profession. I feel so confident, but it's like, no matter how much work I put in, I never feel confident. And I really felt like this is what I needed to boost my confidence. So that's gonna be of April 11th. So that's kind of like my story right now. Um, so I am down eight pounds. So I am weighing in at 138, which is amazing. I haven't weighed that since maybe like right when I got my breast augmentation, like that month, because I had jumped so much weight. Um, and 
I think my goal is probably and this is all body recomposition so honestly like I send my weights in and she could probably care less about what my weight is because it's how you carry yourself you could be 140 pounds and be competition ready and you can be 110 pounds and not be you know it's it's how you carry yourself the amount of muscle you put in lean muscle you know how healthy you do it um and I think that's what I appreciate so much about it is being able to lose weight in a healthy manner um my diet consists of you know I I, I was eating chickens and stuff like that but I kind of chose to get more into pescatarian um, type of lifestyle so a lot of cod a lot of tuna some salmon here and there um, my meals are amazing I enjoy every meal that I eat and I guess my <laughs> giveaway from talking about this <laughs> is to um, I know I'm probably just blabbering but in, it's probably a no consistent order and y'all are probably so lost but I just I don't know I just really felt like I just needed to talk to the camera so that's why <laughs> you're getting this video but um I guess my your takeaway from this video should be um you know stay consistent and don't let your mistakes hold you back from your future just because you mess up today doesn't mean you can't start over you know if you're sitting right now and you're drinking a dr pepper and you know eating bad or not working out just put it down you know just because you're doing it right now doesn't mean you can't put it down and i think that's what i want to tell everybody um nowhere where I should be yet I'm still 15 weeks out from competition uh July 18th I believe I'm really excited but you know there are days where I eat a chocolate bar and I eat a tub of ice cream and it is what it is and you know I know that I'm doing it I know that it's wrong and sometimes I think to myself you know we're human we make mistakes I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna start over you know the moment after if I you know go and junk eat during the night you know what I'm gonna do the next morning I'm gonna be like you know what let's start clean you know drink a gallon of water go do your cardio and just start over and so um that's where I'm at right now I'm really excited to share um maybe towards the end of April actually I might share my virtual reality it's in I think like four days, three days um, of my bikini competition. So I might share that and how I'm submitting my video and all that. And then maybe if y'all enjoy that, I don't, I don't know if y'all want to see that, let me know below, but um, maybe come back to y'all in a month and show y'all where my progress is there. I am, you know, eight pounds is incredible to me, um, you know, because I just stopped caring about my body and wasn't paying attention and now I am and you guys it feels so good to not being laying in bed all day or not being sluggish at work because I'm not eating or feeling junky because I'm drinking Dr. Peppers all day when I tell you girl I drink like three or four Dr. Peppers a day not anymore but I did um and it was just so unhealthy and I just didn't feel good and now I just feel amazing and I think my dog loves me for it because she is going on walks all the time like we're in this together. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I know it's kind of random and not like the usual, but I hope y'all appreciate the video um, and let me know, you know, what you're going through and what your journey's like. And I will, I guess, see you then. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to end this video because it's so different, but um, thank you. <laughs>